So the global steel industry is now facing what we call the trilemma. First, we know that steel is one of the most polluting industries of all. It accounts for almost 10% of global emissions coming from fossil fuels. Second, we know demand for steel is, continues to rise. It is estimated that over the next 30 to 40 years, the global consumption of steel will actually double. And at the same time, we know that the world is not willing to tolerate steel being the most polluting industry anymore. So that requires a different solution to what has been uh, looked at in the past. And that solution presents itself in the form of hydrogen steel. If you make steel from hydrogen, rather than making it from coal, you can produce steel without emissions. Summit mining is an important phase of its life. We're in a growth phase as we transition through from hematite, which has done well for 120 years, to now moving into the magnetite province. To make hydrogen steel, we need magnetite. As simple as that. We cannot make DRI out of low quality hematite because the quality, the purity required in a, in a DRI process and then in an electric arc furnace dictates that we need high quality magnetite with very low residuals such as silica. There is not many places in the world which have the potential which Wyla has to develop large scale magnetite, which is something by in itself very, very exciting. Um, Wyla could just simply be an exporter of high quality, low cost magnetite at large scale. But of course that is not our ambition. Our ambition is to not just develop the iron ore and export the iron ore, but to develop hydrogen at the same time by developing large scale renewables and bring them together to make hydrogen DRI and export, at least export hydrogen DRI, if not actually green steel made out of hydrogen DRI. So that's where wireless magnetite uh, potential is actually the key driver to this uh, ambition. This will ensure cleaner, greener steel. Salamic Mining will continue to be a key exporter of materials going forward to support the region and to support the growth of the broader GFG business. We will see that and we will also see the integrated steelwork supported by our feed here in Wyala for generations to come. We've been mining in this pit for about 30 years and historically that was all about hematite, hematite being a DSR ore. As we move forward and we move into magnetite being the primary ore, this is the sort of core rock that we see with magnetite. Magnetite in its raw form like this isn't of a DSO or direct shipping quality. We actually have to process this ore. And what that looks like when we are actually processing the ore, we put it through, grind it to a fine concentrate, and just by its nature, Magnetite is, is purely that, it's magnetic in nature, so we use magnetite as the technology to actually extract the primary ore out of the rock and create what is here is about a 70% purity of product that is therefore can be a direct reduction quality. So stage one sees us, and we're currently constructing, as we speak, a, an enrichment plant. We call it a, a dry, low intensity mag separation or D-limbs, but it's, it's a simple process at the front of the circuit that um, looks to get waste rejection early. And then we also introduce flotation on the back of our current concentrator. And that's, that's the technology that will give us the high quality premium product or the DR grade of product is, is the stage one. Stage two for the project is about, we've recently identified a, a fairly substantial resource extension to the current magnetite pit. That'll support uh, the introduction of a new scale of concentrator. So that second stage sees us moving from about two and a half million tonne is our aspiration for stage one or our plan. And then stage two sees us putting another five million tonne facility in uh, parallel with this process. And stage three is the, the product of our ongoing exploration where we, we're looking to see if we've got uh, a, a big scale of uh, material that we could then duplicate even the stage two to see a sort of at a, a 10 plus million tonne uh, capacity going forward in a sustained way. Wyla is absolutely key for our CN30 ambitions because what we need for our global steel industry is a, is a resource which can supply magnetite, hydrogen and bundle together hydrogen DRI and potential for Wyla in that respect is limitless. So it becomes more and more important. Energy is very expensive in certain parts of the world. Uh, so potential for renewable energy is limited in certain parts of the world, but demand for steel there continues to grow. So the opportunity really is for Wyla to become a key supplier 
a very large scale supplier of uh, hydrogen DRI or, or green steel. It's a hugely exciting opportunity and you can only see uh, that attraction to Wyala just building and growing as we, we see the success of this project and the ongoing development of the, the green steel. Many people don't actually know but the iron ore industry in Australia was actually born here in the Middleback Ranges. This is the first iron ore which BHP started to mine over 100 years ago. And we've been mining this hematite for over 100 years. Again, you know, ironically so exciting about this is that Wyala started the journey for iron ore in Australia. And now when it comes to magnetite, once again, Wyala is at the forefront of ushering in a new era for magnetite iron ore and will play a dominant role in this future in our industry.